Zion Williamson was booed by his own school. Not a good sign for the freshman player, especially because there is another college athlete we've been sleeping on, Ja Morant. He might be giving Zion a run for his money. I'm getting into this news right now. Stay tuned. Everyone, I'm Devin Howard. We've got to get into this NCAA news, but first click subscribe and if you feel so inclined, tap the bell for notifications. I'm getting to the bottom of why Duke's own fans booed Zion while he was on the court. I never thought I'd see the day that happened. The Duke freshman has been making waves week after week. He's built like an offensive lineman, but has the skill and finesse of someone who is much lighter on their feet. And those dunks, you guys, those dunks. He's easily a player to watch, which is why people even show up to his practices, because when Zion's involved, you're gonna wanna see it. So fans packed into the Colonial Life Arena in South Carolina to watch the Blue Devils open practice before their first round game. The Duke team is jam packed with outrageous players, but what the people wanna see is Zion Williamson dunking the ball like it's nothing. So when Zion decided not to take advantage of a prime slam dunk opportunity, fans were not happy about it. They actually booed the freshman. Take a look. Listen to that disappointed crowd, why would his own school boo him? I guess they came expecting to see him leap into the air like his legs are made of springs and send that ball through the hoop, so when he didn't deliver, they felt entitled to let him know they were bummed out. I was hoping for more. As I'm sure you can imagine, pulling moves like that takes a lot of effort, so maybe Zion just wanted to conserve his energy. But no, he ended up giving the crowd exactly what they were hoping for. <laughs> ah yes, there he is. He's so quick and smooth, blink and you'll miss it. Even though Zion puts on mind-blowing performances over and over again at every game, he's now got some stiff competition in the form of John ja Morant. Yep, Zion Williamson, the six foot seven mass of pure muscle speed and athleticism is possibly getting overshadowed by another college player. You all know I'm a huge Zion fan, so I was surprised to suddenly be hearing so much about John ja Morant and why he should be the number one overall pick in the 2019 NBA draft. After seeing this guy play though, I can see why he's a topic of conversation. Just last night, he put up a triple double, 17 points, 16 assists, and 11 rebounds. This guy was so ridiculous on the court that he got a standing ovation even from fans on the other team. Now that's gotta tell you something. On top of those impressive statistics, he has a way of dunking the ball that sets him apart from everyone else. He does it with such aggression, like he's taking out his anger at the world on the basketball rim. I'm angry. His vertical leap is also out of this world, making his dunks look unbelievable. Check out this clip to see him effortlessly rise up to the hoop, hurling the ball through the basket like it just did something super offensive. What a great backdoor cut. Oh, rim. And then he just swings over Hauser like he's a kid playing on some monkey bars. This dude is remarkable, and I think we've all been sleeping on his talent, and it's looking like Zion's getting himself some college competition. That triple-double the Murray State athlete pulled yesterday solidifies him as a top contender in the NBA draft, and some analysts are saying he should be drafted by the Knicks over Williamson. Hell no, to the no, no, no. Yeah, Here's what they're saying. Morant's game as a combo guard is a lot like Dwayne Wade when he was coming out of Marquette or Russell Westbrook when he was playing for UCLA. He's not as tall or as heavy as Zion, but he's more versatile. With Zion's size and weight, he might be limited to being a short power forward or a short center. Morant, on the other hand, can do it all on the offensive end. In a half-court NBA offense, he can be a facilitator or slasher depending on what his team needs. He also has awesome instincts as a player, which will obviously be appreciated when he's drafted to the NBA. He's going to grow as an athlete, you can already tell, which means he'll be steadily improving. Zion may not have as much room to expand considering he's already mega powerful. Either way, both these guys are going to make a splash in the league. I'm excited to see what's in store for both of them and the teams they end up on. What are your thoughts on John Moran? Does he hold a candle to Zion? Let me know what you think in the comments, and before you go, click subscribe and tap on that bell to get notified whenever we post a new video.